it's Lauren, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk you through this commission painting that I recently finished. Um, it's of a special painting that was a birthday present for someone's mum of them when they were younger riding a horse in Monument Valley. I know, cool right? <laughs> but I had a great time painting this commission. It was such a cool photo, <laughs> so I was really excited to get to this one. And yeah, I'm going to talk you through my process while painting this painting. I hope you enjoy. To see how I made this wooden board, you can go look at my video that I made a couple weeks ago. I'll link it up top here for you and also in the description if you want to go back and watch that one. I went in and did a rough pencil sketch of the picture that I'm doing for this. Here I'm just mixing some colours, so in the beginning when I start a painting I like to do a rough sketch of the, uh, like the basic design, um, basic shapes with the rough colours of where I want them to go. Um, and then I build up layers as I go. So these are the colours I started with. I like to begin with the darker shades and get lighter as I go. So I have the reference photo off to the side and I'm just um, using that as a rough guide. In the beginning of the commission process I tend to look closer at the image to get the shapes that I want but then later I will kind of let myself do what I feel more than what I see. So it gives the painting more of feeling and just makes it more interesting, I think. And now I'm going in with more of the actual colour that I want to come through. So you can see that it's slightly more of a purpley shadow than a brown like it was underneath. Just using a small fine brush to get in some of those details and lines. So on the first layer I generally use a, thick, a bigger brush and then on the next layers I begin to use a smaller brush and go in with more detail. And when I was painting this horse, I was so stressed because I had never painted a horse before. But I think it turned out alright in the end. So the way I paint is basically just building up layers until you have the depth and the amount of detail that you want. And you can see my palette just there. I like to mix up a few base colors and then from there I mix them together and create more secondary colors to that first lot as well. So here I'm softening off some of those lines that I just created. I use a mixture of blending and not blending in my paintings. So sometimes you can see the brush strokes but sometimes you can't. I like that it gives it different textures. And then with this big rock in the foreground, well I first started with the lighter colours and then I realised nope, that's not really how I want to do this, so I went back in with the shadows and the darker colours 
and started building up that shadow and I actually had such a fun time painting this rock formation because that shadow really makes it and there's so many different textures and colors and it's just like it's really challenging but really fun to paint yeah I really enjoyed it I just love the composition and depth of this piece those rocks in the background just look so far away but so big at the same time so cool and then I went in and changed the color of the horse because I wasn't happy with it I think this more of a golden color suits the color scheme of the painting so much more and yeah, I went in adding some more shadows to the jumper and the person and yeah. I think this horse is so cute. <laughs> and I think uh, the most difficult part on this whole painting was painting the face. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I struggled so much with it. But I got to a point in the end where I was really happy with it. Just adding some details to that ground, the lower ground. And then going in, in the end, signing my name. The most daunting part sometimes. <laughs> I usually like to sign my name with the medium that I'm using so if I'm painting in oil I will always sign my name in oil and I will use a, a color from my painting so it's kind of it becomes part of the painting itself. I think that's really important. And then I went in and varnished it. So this is a gloss varnish and I put a few layers on, let them dry in between. But yeah, I just painted it on with this larger brush. And I also varnished the uh, frame as well. And here is the final piece. So happy with it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.